Man, what is the story with Joao Cancelo? Like, he's gone from... Oh, man, that was Van Dijk. No, that could have been contextual there. See that? What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to our Showtime Fortress Van Dyke review and training guide, right? So we did pack Van Dyke. We were lucky enough to get him. It was a 10-pack spin for 900 coins. We got him in our first spin. And obviously, look, this has been a bit of a polarizing one in the community, especially with the players like these that you can only get with coins that have got unique player stats and player skills. Well, not player stats, sorry, player skills. In this case, it is the Fortress player skill, right? So with Van Dijk, he starts off at an 86 centre back. Now, even on the standard version of Van Dijk, right, the main thing that you're going to have with Van Dijk is not pace, is not any ability really on the ball. It's going to be his height, which will control his physical contact and his strength and his jumping and heading ability. His player skills, which you can see there, he has everything. Man marking, interception, blocker, sliding, tackle, and of course, fortress as well. And on top of that, we're going to have the really high defensive stats straight off the rip. So this is his base version, 86 overall. We will be showing you a training guide, which I think haven't played, you know, 15 matches or plus um, his best version and how to train him up and why I train him up the way I did. Because I'm seeing a lot of people train players in different ways. Look, I mean, you have to test out players. Once you test out a base version of the player, everything else just kind of falls into place once you understand the basic basics of the card and what his role should be in the game, especially with where the gameplay is at at the moment. So you will see with Van Dijk here, I'm just going to try and complement his play style and his stats and his player skills and really just up what I need up. In. You know, he's not going to be a fast center back. If you're looking for pace at the back, this is not going to be a player that you will want. You'll want Timber, you'll want Koundé, you'll want somebody that is kind of mobile like Alaba. If you just want a stopper, you know, this is kind of what it's all about. It's all about kind of either getting on top of the ball like this or being able to pass out the ball. I said to you about not being able to really play with Van Dijk, but because he's got a couple of player skills um, that we have here, like such as for passing, we can get him up. Now, he does take up about 50, 60,000 GP. I'm just going through this quite quickly. And this is how I train him. So, you know, this is just obviously the base training of him. I did kind of mess around with a couple of different builds, as you're seeing here, whether I train up his speed, whether I train up his aerial strength a bit more, his defending. But my main thing with him was to have an ultimate version like this. And I'm going to show you why as well, because I see a lot of people training him up slightly different. The reason why I wanted to train Van Dijk up with 12 into defending, right? And nothing into dribbling, passing, or dexterity, because you're never going to get that acceleration up. I also want to keep his offensive awareness as low as possible by a base stat. Once his stamina and speed are up over 75 or 74, 75, I'm happy with that. His height... And the fact that he has aerial superiority and heading means that I don't need to pump that much into aerial strength as well. So I think Van Dijk is, is a pretty easy player to train up. The auto allocate is very similar to this build here that I have. I've just changed one or two slight things. Now, I'm going to show you, right, with his defense at 96 and 97 defensive awareness and tackling. With a form arrow, right, with Van Dijk. On the left, you have a version of Van Dijk in-game that you are going to get with the stats that he has on the second best form arrow, right? So this is controlled, obviously, by the unwavering form and the live player update. On the right, you have the same version of Van Dijk with the up form arrow, and he's going to have tackling and defensive awareness in the 99 region, right? Now, that's just the two stats I've looked at. Obviously, you know, defensive engagement is going to be a little higher as well as other stats when he's got the fully up form arrow. So you're going to have 99 defensive awareness and 99 tackling. That is why I've trained him up as much as possible because you're going to be getting a lot of contextual stuff. The stuff that I saw with Van Dijk, I won't say it's like unlike any other card that I've played with, but he seems to be extremely, and I mean extremely good at just getting in the right position. You'll see his position in here as we, you know, slow down a couple of bits and pieces and speed it up here. You know, you'll see he deals with the header, cushions it down. I make a kamikaze run out. This was obviously a friend match lobby, so I was playing a little bit different. I make a kamikaze run out. I'm 2 nil up. I'm into the second half. I've got the lead. Watch the gap that he covers there. It's ridiculous. He just covers it back so effortlessly. He doesn't have any pace. He doesn't have acceleration, but he's always in the right area. When he gets the ball at his feet, he is, you know, not going to make that many mistakes. Now, look, with the way that the game plays at the moment, there is a massive emphasis on... Uh, tight possession and dribbling and stuff like that and you can get caught every now and again no matter how high your stats are you'll see here right I tried to pass this ball instead he takes it on his chest and it costs me a goal right you're just going to have to accept some of that stuff that happens online right it just happens it doesn't matter who you're playing with but 
you have in Van Dyke a very consistent performer that you know what you're going to be getting from him. His covering, his ability to actually just get in front of the players is ridiculous. One of the best that I've played with. Is Fortress, does it need to be balanced a little bit? I would say yes, as you see here. I mean, he's just getting a lot of contextual blocks and stuff like that. But in saying that, when you look at his player skills, you look at his actual stats, and you look at the fact that when he's on a top form arrow, he goes up to the max 99 tackling that is huge. I mean, that is one of the best ratings of a defender in the game. So that is it for the Van Dyke review and training guide, lads. Let me know what you guys think. Did you spin? Did you get Van Dyke? If you want more of these videos, let me know as well. I will talk to you quite soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. And yeah, that's it. I mean, look, he is a monster, man. He is an absolute beast. Um, and it is going to be something that you need to keep an eye on. If you want a tall defender, you do pair him with a central a defender that's going to be you know mobile and stuff i will have some tips and videos coming out on that as well with the way that v2.4 is at the moment but until next time peace